Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Spyro 2 Gate with a Glimmer. In the last episode, we completed Robotica Farms, and it's time to head into the last normal level of the game. I can see you've learned the value of orbs, Spyro. This touchy gate should work perfectly with the help of your impressive orb collection. Yup, and this will take us to Metropolis. My favorite level in this world, and... It's actually a pretty short and easy level. It's pretty linear, and you'll see what I mean once we get into it. Why this level has pigs with rockets on their on their back? Don't ask me. But uh, yep, yeah, this is Metropolis. Uh, it looks kind of big, but you're really limited to mostly these hallways and the uh, room you see down there. It's a it's a really cool level. I like this level a lot. This insurrection from the farms has got quite out of hand. We need someone to restore order. Find the inventor droid. She's been working on something big. Okay then. Ah, this guy's shooting lasers at us. And right here we have an elevator. With all the budget cuts, these elevators need serious work. See, this one here is stuck. I expect it would start working if you could just give it a good whack, though. Uh, I wonder if I can do it like that. Nope, doesn't work. You have to hit it from the top. So, we head bash it. And that'll take us down. Yeah, as you can see, it's it's really linear. There's not much to this level. A lot of easy to find gems in this place too, so... Like I, like I said, it's actually really short. Uh, most of the gems are actually in that, uh, that big area I showed you. Oh, I did that wrong. <laughs> Supposed to flame them when their shields are down. And I am starting to die here. Yeah, when I say easy, it's... I mainly mean it's easy to find your way around in here. The enemies can be quite annoying, though. Especially the... Those pigs, because they, like, charge at you. So, I guess it's not as easy as I thought it was. I forgot the enemies are this annoying. <laughs> oh well, it doesn't matter. Oh, there's a lot of them in here. Best thing to do with these guys is just to, like, stand back and just flame them from a distance. So you don't get caught in their explosions. I kinda messed that up the first time. We can go up here though. And I don't know if I have enough health for this. We have like a mini boss coming up here and sometimes it can be quite annoying and sometimes I can do it without getting hit so we'll see how this goes. As you can see, a vicious ox has taken over our armory. We thought that freezing the walkway would keep animals out. The ox is very tough. I advise using the bombs against it, and it'll probably take several bombs at that. Yep. This guy can be quite annoying. Uh, yeah, you kind of have to, like, go at it from a straight angle. And don't get hit by the bombs either, because... Okay, I'm messing this up. You can jump on the ice either, can run. It's the ice physics that make this really annoying. And like I said, I don't think I, I have enough health to do this, so I'm, what I'm actually going to do is chicken out here and grab some health down here. Because I need it. Where did the other guy go? Uh, I guess that's the best I... I guess that's the best I'm gonna get, so... Let's just head back in there. Uh, if we approach him from over here, we might be able to get some damage in. Nope. You know what? If I die, 
It doesn't really matter, I have way more than enough life, so... <laughs> wow, we actually got a hit on him. Nice. And I missed. Come on. Hit him. Yes! Like that. Now we're doing better. There we go. Need two more and he should be done. Whoa. That could have been bad. Okay, back off. There's too many bombs on here. Yeah, they do explode when they hit this side of the room, so... Ah. Okay, I died. I didn't expect I would, but... <laughs> I thought I was finally playing better. And I have to start this fight over now, don't I? Yep. I am not getting as lucky as I got in the last episode. Well, at least I'm, at least I'm having a better run at this now. Okay, I think we got a pattern down. I'm going to ignore that bomb. Why did you throw that at an angle? Just throw it straight. There we go. Only one more. Of course, now I do it without getting hit. <laughs> See, that's not that bad. Excellent work, dragon. We can now defend our city properly. Take this visually pleasing reward. Yep, and this is one of our last orbs. Our last four orbs are actually in this level, so... Now we've done that, we can finally move on. And you're still shooting lasers at me, because I forgot to take you out. We're coming back for that box. Um, it's actually... We actually have to backtrack quite a ways to... Uh, to actually get back to that box, which is kind of annoying. But oh well. Ah, more of these rocket pigs. I think this should take us to that big main room that we saw. Yes, it does. So let's take care of the stuff that's here now. And somehow that blew up the pigs, I don't know what I did. Or where they went. Suppose they're supposed to like try to hit me, but I don't know what they were doing. Whoa. Get you guys out of the way. These should be the last enemies, so we won't have to deal with those anymore. Ah, oh, you can blow up that guy. Oh well. It's not too bad. I think that's I think that's all of the enemies. And this will take us to one of the things I really, really like. See that over there? Ah, Spyro. I heard you were coming. Thank you for your efforts in thwarting this attempted coup. Please take this item, which living creatures seem to like. And we got another orb just for getting here. <laughs> First for Avalar, a combination power-up. Thank goodness you're here to test it out. These invading sheep in their spaceship must be stopped. Yep, and that's actually the fun part, but we're not we're not gonna do that yet. Sometimes if you do if you do it early, it gets to be an issue because I've had it glitch out on me where like I got all three of them. And nothing would happen, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait on that until I have all of the gems, which we can now do now that we have this this awesome double power-up thing. Whoa. If I don't kill myself, <laughs> that would be nice. And as you can see over there's the room where we started. It's kind of it's kind of interesting to see. Like I said, it's a really cool level. I've said that way more than enough now. I need to refill my power up. Oh, please make it back up there. No! Come on. Make it back up there. There you go. That was annoying. Yeah, there's these balloons. 
everywhere too, so that's also another thing you have to look out for when you're looking for the gems. I still have to turn off my screensaver. <laughs> I'm actually recording this right, like right after the last episode. I don't think I want to take those guys out. I mean, I would love to, but I'm, I, I don't want it to glitch out on me. These gems, my first time through, took me forever to find these. Of course, you can always, I don't know, if, of course, you can always like hit um, the L, all the L buttons and the R buttons, and it'll and it'll point to any gems you're leaving behind. So that's one way to do it. Yeah, there's a lot of gems in these areas. Or in this big area, I should say. I think we can go down now and grab all of these gems that fell from the balloons. We have this over here still, too. I don't remember where this leads. Oh, it just leads around. I'm actually starting to get a little hungry. I should probably, like, go eat something soon. Uh, let's see where we have more stuff. Oh, down here. Again, if I don't kill myself. And I think now would be a good time to grab this power up and start backtracking to that box we saw. So we have to be fast about it. I do think they give you plenty of time for this though, so... There's no need to rush. We don't want to fly the... Well, we actually we want to fly this because it will be faster than the elevator since we're going up. Yeah, they do give you plenty of time for this, but you do have to take it, like, a long way back, which is kind of annoying. And there we go! Now, if I'm not mistaken, that's actually all of the gems in the whole game. If I'm right about that, and I hope I am. So now all that's left to do is to go back and get rid of these flying saucers in here. And we can actually make it back up. How about that? <laughs> this is pretty easy, as long as you don't get hit, of course. I do... I don't remember if those projectiles home in on you. I think they kind of do, but not really. Uh, we can cut them off right there. Or maybe not. Yeah, it would help if my aim was a little better than than it is now. Okay, dude. You have hit me way more than enough. Okay, he's going back through there, so we're just gonna get him once he goes out. There we go. Excellent work. You knocked those sheep right out of the sky. This orb device is proof of your skill. And there we go. Yeah, one thing I... Well, you'll see. What happens? I knew it. Those first sheep sent out a distress call. The next wave of saucers is incoming. What I recommend doing, since there's two waves, always do those two waves at the same time. Don't do one wave, then go back for that box and do another wave, because that's how I've had a glitch happen where I had to redo the whole level because it wouldn't trigger the cutscene for either that orb or the last one. I don't really remember which one it was, but I have had a glitch on me. And it is kind of annoying. So with this, if I can find the last saucer... Where did it go? Okay, come on now. There it is. If I could aim, and that should give us the last orb. Nice flying, Airman. You've proven the genius of my double power-up invention. Here, keep this to commemorate your victory. And with that, I think it's going to show up. Yep, 64 out of 64 orbs. We have all of them. Which means we have now officially 100% of the game. All that's left to do is just the final battle, and that's what we're going to do next time. And he's still waiting. <laughs> oh, 
Oh! <laughs> so yeah, with that we are done with Metropolis, and the next episode we are going to fight Ripto and hopefully beat the game, so... It's gonna be fun. So until next time, see you guys... Well, until next time, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later. Of course I had to mess up my outro.